hi guys what's up welcome back thanks for joining me for another video if you are new here my name is Hanya and today I'm going to be talking about the new lipsticks from Lisa Aldridge if you're not familiar with Lisa Aldridge she is a makeup artist and she has done makeup on a vast array of people and she, last year she released some lipsticks that did really really well everybody that I knew that bought them loved them and the people that I talked to on social media that bought the, them and whose videos I watched also loved them as well so they were phenomenal, nothing like I've ever used before. They were a range of red lipsticks that she released and I did a whole video on the one that I bought from that collection which I will link up above in the cards. So this time round in summer 2019 she's now released four new pink lipsticks all varying in different shades of pink and they have two new formulations which I'm really interested and intrigued to try. So I'm going to go through the packaging, delivery, swatches and also see how they apply on my skin tone. So if you're sitting around medium olive skin tone then you know what these shades will look like on you. I'll leave all the information for Lisa's social media and her shop down below so if you're interested in purchasing them everything will be down there for you. Make sure you subscribe and also hit that notification bell if you're interested in my videos and staying up to date with me. Without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the box that the lipsticks come in and as you can see it's a really well sized box. No waste of space here, hint hint Amazon. Um, we've got my shipping boxes and tissue papers are recyclable so see, please recycle them which is fantastic. I love that sort of nudge in the right direction to environment friendly. Then we've got Lisa's signature little monogram on here with her name and also she's just giving a little hint to post pictures on Instagram and tag her in there which I think is really nice um, and then you've got a little flap and some tissue paper which I'm just going to pop down there and then we have the bag itself so I'm going to pull these out because all four lipsticks are in here so this is the little travel bag. It's a lovely bright turquoise and gold colour. Perfect for the summer and a really nice size. So you can sort of throw this into your beach bag or your carry-on bag if you're at the airport and take it with you, which I think is really nice. It's got lovely detailing here with Lisa's logo on and on the front and feels a really nice quality. Inside are the four lipsticks. And if you buy two of the lipsticks, then you get this bag for free, which I think is a really nice incentive. All of the lipsticks are packaged in this lovely white and gold cardboard packaging. And on the side of the lipstick, you've got the formulation of the specific lipstick. So this one is Skyscraper Rose and it's got insanely saturated lip color on the side. And then when you open it up, We've got lovely black packaging and the exact same packaging as we had with the Velveteen lipstick. So you've got the lovely gold packaging, Lisa's little monogram here on the top and then the magnetic closing and then the lipstick colours inside. So here we have the four lipsticks. These are the two sheer formulated lipsticks and these are the more saturated color lipsticks. So I don't know if you can tell the difference between the texture on the camera, but these look like a more traditional type lipsticks, whereas these have definitely some kind of texture on the surface of them, similar to the velvet ones, but they don't look like the velvet lipsticks at all. They just look like a more textured lipstick. Um, as compared to the traditional looking lipstick. So we have the two insanely saturated lip colours. This is in the shade Skyscraper Rose. And then this is in the shade Rainbow Spill. Then we have the two luxuriantly lucent lip colours. This is in the shade Love of My Life. And then we have the shade Go Lightly. So 
So these lipsticks retail for £26 each. You can get them from Lisa's website. Delivery, I paid for one to two day tracking. Now on the actual launch, I was on her website as soon as they were supposed to launch and unfortunately she had a hiccup on her website where it sort of went down and the lipsticks weren't live until about an hour later, which is absolutely fine, these things happen. And then in terms of delivery, she used a new courier this time and they ended up messing up with delivery. So. I paid for one to two day tracking and I got mine almost a week later which was fine and I honestly can't fault Lisa's team they actually cooperated quite well with me throughout the whole process so Lisa kept everybody up to date on her Instagram which was much appreciated and then she also I could see as I was going through like her Instagram post as she was promoting the lipsticks she was replying herself to people saying you know tell me your order number and i will get one of the team members to reply back to you straight away and they really did so although there was hiccups with delivery i can't fault lisa herself and her support team behind her with the way that they handled actually getting information to their customers in terms of formulation love of my life and go lightly are part of the new luxuriantly lucent lip colors and when lisa was describing this all i could think of was nar sheer glow so if you're familiar with that foundation it is a medium coverage foundation but it's got a lovely dewy luminescent glow underneath it so the actual color payoff of that foundation isn't sheer actually the glow underneath it is sheer so it's like an undetectable glow underneath the foundation and that's what I thought of these lipsticks. They are the Nashi glow of the lipstick world. And when she applied it on her lips, I also got that vibe from it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the lightest one first, which is this one called Go Lightly. And this to me is a lovely coral color and it's got almost peachy pastel type undertones to it. So I'm going to apply this first. So that's like one coat for me. I'm just going to get a lip brush and go around the edges and just fix it a little bit. So you guys this is go lightly on my lips and i gotta say i'm really pleasantly surprised i never ever ever wear light pastel salmony pink colors like this ever simply because i didn't ever think they'd match my skin tone or my undertone at all but what i'm seeing is it really livens up my skin tone it just gives a really nice pop and it's very 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 comfortable on the lips as well it is a sheerer coverage lipstick you're not gonna get one swipe wonder from it liquid lipstick type coverage at all but what you do get is a very glowy moisturized and also light finish to the lips which I really really love and I think it's absolutely perfect for the warmer months next I'm gonna try on love of my life So my camera cut off as I was just adjusting the colour and then applying a slight second layer. This is what the colour looks like on my lips and I really, really like it. It is a very rosy, it reminds me of a rosebud, like a very nice pink rosebud out in the summer. And I think it complements my skin tone really, really well. It's not too cool and it's not too warm at all. It's a very nice neutral rosy pink okay onto the saturated lip colors so this is the shade rainbow spill and it's a very bright coral so i'm gonna apply this to my lips and see how it goes
so this is rainbow spill my gosh is it neon and corally <laughs> it is amazing it is a very bright lip color and very powerful and saturated you don't need much of this at all it is a drier formula than the first two colors that i've shown you nevertheless it's still just as moisturizing very very comfortable on the lips and a very easy formula to work with and move around and get in the places where you want it to go so i really love this color and Ooh, it makes my skin tone just like liven up and it's like it's summer <laughs> definitely I love it last but not least we have the shade skyscraper rose which is described on the website as a electrically modern fuchsia pink So you guys those are the four lipsticks let me know which one you think suited me best in terms of my favorites from this collection i love the color go lightly i just think i've never found anything that of this tone that's ever worked for me so well and i just love it i think it really suited my complexion and i'm pleasantly surprised on that same sort of note i also love the color rainbow spill which is the bright coral I've never had a colour like this work for me before and it did and I was really really surprised but honestly from the sheer formulation to the saturated formulation I just think it's really beautiful and I think there's something in here for everybody whether you like really powerful in your face colours or whether you prefer more sheerer colours I think someone I think everybody's going to find something in here for them I'm really happy that I've spent my money on these. I think the unique formulations, again, once again, have come through. They're ve all very, very wearable and they're all very, very comfortable on the lips as well. And I don't have anything bad really to say about them. I think they match me really well. And I hope if you're around my complexion, you found something helpful from this video and you think, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and buy that colour fingers crossed they're still in stock as well if you've got that in your head obviously the link will be down below for you let me know your thoughts on the video you guys and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out any on any of my videos and also hit that notification bell too and i shall see you guys all in the next one